Hey guys, a couple of months ago I made a video about the aiming skill called tracking where I did a full breakdown of all the different sub-skills of this aiming style. So if you haven't seen that one yet, I highly encourage you to do so because this video series is a follow-up where I teach you guys the most effective way to improve your tracking by focus training on a specific sub-skill. Anyway, in a nutshell, tracking exists out of three different sub-skills you can train individually. Those are mouse control, reaction speed and correcting speed. In this video I am going to cover mouse control. Mouse control is the ability to create straight lines at different speeds with a minimum of crosshair shake. This is important for maximizing your damage potential when your target is moving in a single direction so you don't miss any bullets due to crosshair shake. This skill is actually quite easy to improve and gives you right away a big accuracy boost as this is the most fundamental part of tracking. That's why we have created an isolated training mode called Smooth Operator that focuses just on training your mouse control as the targets are small and have long dodging patterns. This training mode is challenging you to move your crosshair as straight and fluent as possible to reach a high score. Depending on your current skill level, you can choose between three different target sizes, small, medium and fat, and three different movement speeds, slow, medium and fast. If you don't have any clue where to start, try level 3, as this is a great indicator for measuring your current skill level. If you hit at least 80% accuracy, you can go straight to the level 6 to 10. Anything below 80%, I recommend sticking to levels 1 to 5. Now, when practicing, there are two things you need to focus on. The first one is your crosshair. Before starting, select a small crosshair with a high contrast, so you can easily notice any stuttering. So, while you focus on your crosshair, try keeping it as steady as possible on the target's head. You will notice that your crosshair is shaking a bit and isn't moving at a constant velocity. It's important that you recognize this behavior and you are aware when the shaking is mild or fierce. Because once you are aware of the shakiness, you can focus on the second part, and that is your mouse grip. When the shakiness is mild, try to get a feel on how you are holding your mouse at that moment. Overall, you will notice that the less tension and pressure you put on your mouse, the less crosshair shake will occur. So try holding your mouse as relaxed as possible while still maintaining a steady grip on the edge. But whatever you do, do not press your mouse down. There is nothing to gain with as it only increases the friction of your mouse pad, making it harder to accelerate or change the direction of the mouse. Anyway. Here's a level scheme with all the scores you should be able to beat before continuing towards improving your action speed. If you want some change, you can also switch it up with the long strafe horizontal and vertical tracking levels of Eagle's Nest, as they are also great for practicing mouse control. So if you just start practicing, I recommend focusing only on this part of tracking as it has the greatest effect on your overall accuracy with the least amount of training. Try practicing for at least 20 minutes a day. Remember that it is a lot better to practice 20 minutes every day than 2 hours at once every week. Before rounding up, I also want to mention that you should check if your mousepad is in good condition. This means there is no dust piling up inside. You can easily check this by rubbing your finger over it. If it leaves a greyish mark on your mousepad, it means it's dusty and will heavily increase the mouse friction leading to inconsistent mouse movement. So wash or replace your mousepad if that is the case. Anyway, this was it for now. In the next part, I'll talk about how to improve your reaction and correction speed. But until then, keep practicing and as always, I'll see you in the next one.